Hello children, welcome to Science Hub. Today's topic is Plants Living and Surviving. This is related to class 4. Let us go to the lesson. Plants grow on mountain slopes, on ocean beds, in deserts and in river valleys. In fact, they grow almost everywhere. Plants are classified into two different types. Depending on the surroundings, they grow. They are terrestrial plants, aquatic plants. Let us discuss about terrestrial plants. The word terrestrial means living on land. The plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. In hilly areas where it is generally cold, the trees are tall and straight. These have needle-like leaves. They bear cones instead of flowers. Actually, we see flowers for all plants. But the plants which are growing in hilly areas have cones instead of flowers. Examples, pine, cedar and fir. In the plains, the trees have lots of branches. These trees can bear heat and shed their leaves during winter. Examples are mango, people, banyan and sal. In hot and damp areas, trees have lot of leaves. They remain evergreen. They do not shed their leaves in any season. So that they, these plants are called as evergreen plants. Examples are coconut, pepper, rubber, rice and cotton. In deserts, most plants grow without leaves because these leaves are changed into spines. Why? Because to prevent the loss of water. As it is very hot in desert areas, to prevent the loss of water from the leaves, all the leaves are changed into spines. The green fleshy stem contains chlorophyll and the green fleshy stem will prepare food for such plants examples are cactus there is another function for this green fleshy stem it will store water also in marshy areas the soil is very sticky and clayey the plants growing in such areas do not get air as the soil is covered with water you can see the picture all all the land is covered with water so roots grow out of the soil to breathe such roots are called breathing roots the plants growing in marshy areas are called mangroves the second type is aquatic plants Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are of three types. Floating plants, fixed plants, underwater plants. Let us discuss one by one. Floating plants. These plants float in water. So the name floating plants. They are either light or small in size. As they float in water, they give protection to small water animals from the heat of the sun. Examples are duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth. The second type is fixer plants. These plants are fixed to the bed of the pond. So the name fixer plants is given. These plants have long, hollow and light stem which helps the leaves and flowers to float. These leaves are broad and stomata is present only on the upper side of the leaves. As the leaves are floating in the water, there is no stomata on the underside. The stomata is present only on the upper side of the leaf. Examples are lotus and water lily. The third type is underwater plants. These plants remain under water so that the name underwater plants. They have long ribbon like narrow leaves. You can observe the first picture. They have no stomata as they remain under the water. No stomata is present on their leaves. These plants help in purifying the water by removing the 
carbon dioxide which is released by aquatic animals examples are tape grass hydrilla and pond weed these plants are also grown in aquariums at our homes to clean the water next there is one special type of plants that is grass family they are very useful to us in many ways let us see one by one they provide food for humans and fodder for animals examples wheat rice sojowar bajra and oats not only this sugar is also obtained from sugarcane plant sugarcane plant is also a grass family plant paper was made with the grass plant called papyrus this is also a one type of grass plant various kinds of grasses are used to make different types of paper some plants are used in preparing medicines also bamboo plants are actually called as jain grass bamboo is used for making things like brooms baskets chairs mats curtains toys and huts dried grass is used for packing materials the roots of the plants of the grass family help to bind the soil and they prevent the soil erosion this is a fourth type and the last type that is unusual plants actually we will find that animals will eat plants but in this case the plants are eating animals animals is nothing but some types of insects such plants are called insectivorous plants examples are venus fly trap sun dew and pitcher plant in venus fly trap plant the leaves are folded into two halves when insect sits on that leaf it will close the leaves so that insect is killed in that leaf this is the mechanism found in venus fly trap in rain forests there are lot of climber plants these climbers are as thick and strong as ropes thank you for watching this video bye